Five Minute Berenstain Bear Stories by Jan Stan and Mike Berenstain. All aboard. On a bright sunny morning, the Bear family was going on a long trip. They had planned this trip for weeks, and it was finally here. They were going to visit their aunt, Tilly, who lived many miles away. To get there, they needed to catch a train. Brother and sister looked down the track. Here came the train. Woo-hoo, went the whistle. The train came into the station. It pulled a big, shiny engine. Clouds of smoke puffed out of the smokestack. It made a lot of noise. Brother, sister, and Honey Bear covered their ears. The train pulled into the station and came to a squeaky stop. Brother, sister, and the whole Bear family looked up at the engine car. Someone waved from the front seat of the train. It was Grizzly Jones, the engineer. He would be driving the train today. Another bear stood near the passenger car in a bright blue uniform. His name was Mr. Mack, and he was the train's conductor. He made sure that the train left on time. All aboard, he called. The bear family stepped inside. They didn't want to be late. Inside the passenger car, the family quickly found their seats. Mr. Mack came along and took their tickets. He asked if they were comfortable. If you need anything, said Mr. Mack, just let me know. Thank you, said brother and sister. With that, the train suddenly jerked forward. Honey Bear thought that was funny. The Bear family was off on their very first train trip. At first, the train started out slow, and then it moved faster and faster. The Bear family watched as the windows, out the windows as the, at the passing sights. They passed their treehouse, and then they passed Farm Ben's farm. Farmer Ben waved from his tractor. They passed the Bear Country School, where Handy the Bear Gus was fixing the roof. They went all the way through Grizzlyville. They saw cars and streetlights. They saw stores and traffic cops. Then the train crossed a large bridge. They saw bears and boats fishing, and bears working on the railroad. Then the train passed through a tunnel. It climbed into the mountains, past bears skiing and climbing. The train went down in the, to the valley. The bear family saw mountain goats and deer. After a while, the cubs grew tired of looking out the window. Mr. Max stopped by to check on them. He asked if they wanted to s visit the engine. Grizzly Jones was driving the train. His helper threw coal on the fire to make the train go. The cubs watched as the fire grew brighter and brighter and each shovel of coal. Brother wanted to throw coal on the fire, too. Grizzly Jones smiled. Maybe when you're a little older, he said with a laugh. But, added Grizzly Jones, I have something you both can do for me. Yay, shouted the bears in excitement. With excitement, Grizzly Jones pointed to a cable hanging above them. Want to blow the whistle, he asked. Brother and sister gave cable a strong tug. Went the whistle. Now, would you like to drive the train? Asked Grizzly Jones. Would they ever? The cubs took turns in the driver's seat. They couldn't believe they were actually driving a train. Their friends would never believe this story. Just then, a freight train passed them on the other track. At the end of the freight train was a red caboose. It was a little house on wheels. The train's conductor lived there. He waved as they went past. A little while later, the cubs headed back to their seats. They weren't. They were getting hungry. Mama had lunch. Had a lunch basket. The bears ate as the train rolled on. Brother and sister told Mama and Papa all about driving the train. You did a great job, said Mama. Yes, added Papa. The ride was very smooth. Soon the bear family heard a loud squeak, and the train started to slow down. They pulled into the station. The train stopped and gave off a big puff of steam. Whoosh. Goodbye, Mr. Mack and... Grizzly Jones said the cubs, thanks for the ride. Thank you for the ride, said Grizzly Jones with a smile and a wink. The bear family all let out a laugh. Nearby, Aunt Tilly was waiting in her car. I want to be an engineer when I grow up, sister told her. What about you, brother? asked Aunt Tilly. I want to live in a red caboose, he said. So do I, said Aunt Tilly. And that is the end of All Aboard. That was Five Minute Barons and Bear Stories by Jan Stan and Mike Berenstain. Thank you all for listening and... I hope to see you for the next one, and to make sure you see me or listen to the next one, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and if you want, even hit the like button. Either way, I'm cool, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you have a fantastic day. See you for the next story.